we're learning something huge here. Brother, we put a program together, nobody showed up. Only five people showed up. It was such a failure. The whole program was a failure. Five people. We put this whole program together. We threw out, threw out flyers. We made announcements. You know, we stuck things in people's cars. We harassed people. We sent text messages that everybody hated. We flooded people's Facebook pages. And five people showed up at our program. What a total failure. Actually, you made all that effort not for the numbers to attend a program. You made all that effort as an act of worship to Allah. So it's already success. It's already success. Whether if there's nobody in the hall, it's still a success. Because you just put work in for Allah. You tried to do something from Aqimuddin. You tried to do that. That was for Allah. No, no, nothing else should depress you. There's no reason for you to get depressed. Even the messenger is told, لا تحزن عليهم. Don't, don't grieve over them. Don't worry about them. You just do your job. You just keep reminding. Your job is just to remind. The kinds of things he has to hear and he just he has this attitude, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what these people say. I just have to do my job. That's what Allah is telling me. This is the mentality of a worker for Islam. No matter what capacity, whether even you're a volunteer that helps put the tables together or helps vacuum the masjid before Jumu'ah, whatever capacity you help in, your mentality is whatever I'm doing, first of all, is worthy to Allah. It's worth something. And I brought up the guy who vacuums the masjid on purpose. There was this old woman that used to sweep Al Masjid Al Nabawi. Nobody knew her name. Nobody knew her name. And when one day she, she mysteriously disappeared and word got out that she died. And the Prophet was asking about her, where'd she go? Where'd she go? And he cried for her. Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he made dua for her and he praised her. That, that no, nobody attended her halaqat. She didn't do any glor glorious work. Nobody even knew her name. People didn't even know her name. And she is so successful that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa misses her presence. And he makes dua for her. Never think that what you're doing for deen is less. Oh, so you're not the president of the organization? Then what's the point then? I'm just a volunteer. I'm just the secretary of the MSA. What's that? That's nothing. Just think of that lady that swept, swept the masjid. Just think of that. We're not here to gain ranks in organizations. We are here to serve deen. We're here to serve Allah Azza wa Jal. We're not like Iblis. If he doesn't get a rank, he gets upset. You know? We're not like that. We don't care about ranks and organizations. They're just titles. They will come and they will go. Who's the, who's the president of the masjid? Who's the imam? Who's the president of the MSA? Who's the head of this program? Who's in charge of this? Who's the main speaker? Who's the second speaker? You know, who's the MC? None of this stuff matters. None of this stuff. At the end of the day, if we're all sincerely serving Allah, the guy standing behind the microphone, and the guy sitting on, you know, and, and doing work and helping put the program together, you don't even know who Allah is rewarding them more. more. You know, you, sometimes you have an Islamic convention, and there's like, you know, thousands of people coming to listen to a speaker, everything's mashallah, the speaker did such a great job. The speaker didn't do anything. He got flown in, he stayed in a hotel, and he talked for 20 minutes. He didn't do anything. You know who did all the work? Those guys that you just push over when to get into the hall. They're the ones who stayed up all night. They're the ones who booked, you know, made sure of all the arrangements that would happen. Nobody even cared, nobody even knows their name. Nobody knows. You know, they don't come up on stage and say, by the way, you're welcome. They don't do that. But Allah recognizes them. Allah Azza wa recognizes them. And that's enough. That's enough for them. This is the attitude of a worker of deen. May Allah Azza wa make us of those who work towards establishing Allah's deen in whatever capacity. InshaAllah ta'ala, hopefully, I, I hope to finish at least this passage with you guys next week.